The University of Washington may not have made a splash with the hiring of new head football coach Kalen DeBoer, but in the world of knee-jerk reactions, especially on Twitter, use that leg to pump the brakes instead of jerking. The history of missing on the first choice but hitting on the second, third, and fourth is a common one in sports. The Huskies actually had one of the more positive experiences with a fourth choice coach. When they hired a head coach for the men's basketball team back in 2002, it was widely known Lorenzo Romar was number four on the wish list. The Huskies pursued Missouri's Quinn Snyder, Gonzaga's Mark Few, and Minnesota's Dan Munson. Instead, Romar gave the dogs 15 seasons, all winning seasons, with the exception of his first and his last. Romar was a three-time Pac-12 Coach of the Year, winning two regular season titles and three tournament titles. Solid hire, no question. Like Romar, Pete Carroll knows what it's like to be fourth on the death chart. Before he was the Seahawks' top choice in 2010, he was USC's number four back in 2000, behind Mike Riley, Dennis Erickson, and Mike Bellotti. Over the next decade, Carroll led USC to seven Pac-12 titles and a national championship. Up the road from USC is Hollywood, a place where second, third, and fourth choices have prospered over the years. Can you imagine the lead role in the Die Hard movies going to top choice Arnold Schwarzenegger? What about Mel Gibson or Sylvester Stallone? Bruce Willis wound up being the last choice and the best choice to play Detective John McClane. Tom Selleck as Indiana Jones instead of Harrison Ford. Matthew Broderick instead of Brian Cranston in Breaking Bad. Can you even imagine John Travolta as Forrest Gump and not Tom Hanks? You get the idea. Maybe life really is like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get. Like hiring a new head football coach. The University of Washington is hoping Kalen DeBoer is the answer. A coach who has just 12 wins in major college football. He may not have the experience of the bigger names, but neither did Bruce Willis. So in the words of John McClain, welcome to the party, pal.